the museum themselves are, defi are defining themselves as racist and sexist. How far down this rabbit hole have we fallen now of self-denigration in this country? The thing that is profoundly disgraceful, I mean, it really is important that we grasp just how serious the welcome is. Mm. The welcome is Britain's largest charity. Mm -hmm. It has got an endowment. Do you know the figure? No. £36 billion. Pounds and rising astronomically. It gives more to medical research than the government. And is it there is... a criteria on that endowment? Uh, pardon? Is there a criteria? Yes. The endowment? criteria, let me just read. I came well prepared, didn't oh. I? Henry, Henry Wilkins' vision of advancing health, listen to this, health through science and culture. Mm -hmm. That is the endowment of the museum. What they've... Health through science and culture. What they're doing is exactly the opposite. Mm. They're espousing the for let's not mince words. They're espousing the forces of darkness. Mm. Um, and it is deeply shocking to the memory of Henry Wilkham. Needless to say, the, there is a, a key figure there who is in charge of their, let's read it again and get absolutely correct, who is their diversity inclusion, you know, exactly the kind of figure, who is called Farah Nazir. And she charges Wilkham. Why must we remove Wilkham from this, the place that he founded? Because he is a man of enormous wealth, power, and privilege, mm. right? Secondly, what are the things that are exhibited? Well, a lot of them. He's welcome. Is a great medical pioneer. He is. He uh, researches himself. He travels to Africa. He travels to South America. And of course, there are things like you know bows, arrows, medicine men, as well as Napoleon's toothbrush and a French guillotine. And what she says is, all these things are his, the objects of the historically marginalised and excluded. Fine. Shall we just ask a little question about Mr. Welcome? Or rather, Sir Henry. Mm. OK, he finishes one of the richest men in the world, three million in the early 20th century, right? That's up there with the Astors. It's up there with J.P. Morgan. Do you know how he began? Literally dirt poor. He was born on a 14-acre farm in Armand, Wisconsin, mm. to mad Adventist parents. His family is wrecked by the American... We, all, we hear a lot about the Irish potato famine. Mm. We don't hear about the American one of 1861. They then immigrate, when he is a boy of 10, to Garden City, Minnesota. And do you know what? They choose exactly the moment when the Sioux Indian tribe rises in the greatest rebellion and besieges Garden City, and this lad has to cast bullets and help tend the dead and the dying with his uncle Jacob, who is a doctor. That is how this privileged man begins. How does he become one of the richest men in the world? By education, by science, by progress. What does this woman in charge of equity, diversity and inclusion at the institute he founded wanted to do? She wants to take the side of the witch doctor. She wants to take the side of magic. She wants to take the side of fable and fiction as opposed to reality. She wants, and sorry Calvin, you're wearing your collar. We've got the crucifix, we've got we the do, Bible. She wants to take the side of a new Christian heresy which is called woke. I would say the woke are the Puritans. They, they are, it's a, but it's a Christian heresy. Yes. It is, it, well, also, remember, there's a lot, of, we could look it up, the Magnificat. He shall cast down the mighty from their seats yes. and elevate them of low degree. And woke is a parody mm. of that. The trouble is, you see, I'm a secularist, finally. I believe I know, I know. That, that welcome envisaged a world redeemed by science. This is Welcome himself on the screen. This is Sir Henry Welcome. This is redeemed by knowledge, mm. by science, by education. Yeah. What people like, um, and this is what is so disgraceful, that somebody like Jeremy Farrar is head of this. By the way, did you notice who, you didn't actually, you couldn't even pronounce her name. Do you remember who Julia, Julia Gillard is? No, it's she is the failed prime minister of Australia. Uh, as if we didn't have enough, <laughs> as if we didn't have enough failed women a... prime ministers, we have to import one. But the welcome story is one of social mobility, then, is it? Uh, totally. But it's a story. Class, it, it's, it, a, it, it's a story. It's a story of social mobility through education, right. through knowledge, but not simply. A man. He's a man who wanted to give his money away, and what he wants to do, he wants to. Give us back health. Now, you left out, of course, racist and sexist. We didn't quite pick mm -hmm. up what the other thing that the welcome has now decided welcome was about. He was ableist. 
Now, can I give you a little bit of autobiography here? Mm. I'm very interested in ableism because I was born disabled. I was born with club feet. Mm. I got polio. My left leg was going to be about four inches shorter than my right. Mm -hmm. And you know what? The only thing I wanted to do was to be able. Right. I'm a passionate believer in ableism. I don't believe... Again, it's this cult of victimhood, this notion that if you're deaf, you should oh, believe in deafness. Mm -hmm. If you're blind, you should believe in blindness. This is an absurdity. We want to eradicate these things. We want, we want everybody to enjoy good health. I want, to, I want everybody to be rich. That's exactly what industrialization has done. You're using the term we. Many of us would agree with you. But, Good. But there are those that don't. They don't. They, Socialists they, don't want everyone to be They poor. don't. They to be and people, poor. people like this wretched woman, uh, Farah Nazir, mm. want to keep people poor. What? They want to cultivate them as victims. They want, to remain, they want them to remain ignorant. And what's worst of all, Calvin, mm. they want to enforce poverty and ignorance and ill health on the rest of us. And the fact that an institution founded to redeem the world through health and knowledge has now been taken over by this cult of evil and darkness seems to me to... You know, it is an... The Charity Commission should be investigating. I think you're this, is, this, is beyond, this is beyond... This oh. is beyond the usual madness that's overtaken. But the reason these diversity, inclusion and equality... Uh, ZARs. Well, well they, they stand for... The acronym is DIE, isn't it? Because yes. that's where they send things to die. And this is cultural vandalism, is it not? This is cultural death. I mean, this is the death of the Enlightenment. We are a world that was created by the Enlightenment, by science, by knowledge, by education. You and I are products of it. I, mean, I was born, I wasn't born in dirt poverty, but I was born in, it wasn't like poor old, well, not poor old welcome, brilliant, clever, forceful welcome. Uh, you know, I'm sorry, I don't believe the meek inherit the earth. I believe Henry Welcome and Dee Starkey inherit the <laughs> earth. But, 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 but what, you know, it requires effort. It requires force, yeah. which, dare I say, are not entirely Christian virtues, you know. Well, Christ came to bring a sword. Uh, right, if, OK... The, 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 there's that other, but that's not the Jesus meek and mild that's in the. Jesus wasn't incredibly meek. This, I agree this with is you. A modern concept. It, it is a it is a modern perversion. Yes. Again, on the contrary, you know, uh, I I come this in. Is, I, this is the common sense crusade. Great. Great. I might even be on side, <laughs> providing we don't get too much religion. In. We, we mustn't have too much religion in our we'll, crusade. We'll get you there eventually. That's, that's <laughs> my mate Dave, a.k.a. Dr <laughs> David Starkey, historian and broadcaster. In a statement, the Welcome Collection said, we are deeply committed to amplifying the voices of those whose histories and live, lives are embodied in the collection and to telling more inclusive and equitable stories about human life and health. To fully achieve this, we aim... We must create spaces for multiple perspectives rather than the single perspective of one privileged and powerful man.